Howdy everyone, YouTube land. Yachatek, Rus aus Texas. Hey everyone, can't emphasize this enough. If you haven't done so already, please go vote. Let your voice be heard. I just can't say enough, folks, that I'm watching a lot of things on the news and whatnot, uh, and I'm not discouraged. I'm just saying I really am. Being a foreigner here, uh, some of you know that I'm originally from Germany, what was then West Germany. Uh, mother's an Apache, parents found each other in America while he was over here doing some training, blah, blah, blah. And here I am today <laughs> in Texas and a proud Texan. But long story short, folks, uh, you know, I served in the military. I was a military intelligence soldier. Uh, having the right to vote, being an American, really is a privilege. Uh, having gone to other countries and seeing third world countries and seeing how uh, desperate and destitute they are and not having the rights and privileges that we have as Americans over here really changes your perspective so trust me if you haven't voted already please go out and vote we've only got a couple more days left uh, there's some things I've seen on the news that let's just say I don't trust the media I trust you and I as Americans I trust you and I as intelligent rational thinking human beings that will cast our votes uh, how our heart and our minds uh, tell us and I tell people, I didn't just, when I, people asked me, have you voted already? And the answer was yes. And they said, well, who did you vote for? I said, I voted for America. I voted for the Constitution. I voted for my brothers in Benghazi that will never come back. Okay? That's what I voted for. I voted for my children and my grandkids. And I even voted for Panda here, okay? <laughs> just to, to have the, to enjoy the liberties of being American. The media people, I, I don't trust them. If you listen to the media, they got... Let me just go ahead and say names, folks, here. Uh, they got Hillary all over Trump, like white on rice. Uh, but yet, if, if I just drive five miles down the road, uh, closer to the town, I live out in the country, but if I drive five miles down the road, I see Trump signs everywhere, and I only see a few, maybe one Hillary sign. And, and that's, that's okay, but the media, I honestly believe, folks, has their own agenda. They've got their cushy jobs. Question for all of you. When was the last time that you drank champagne and ate caviar on a Learjet? When was the last time you did that? Okay, honestly, for me, it was maybe about a couple of years ago. But my point is this. Who pays for that? You and I. Taxpayers. We pay for that. Now, I'm not opposed to somebody, if they work really hard, I honestly believe in the American dream, folks. The American dream is about opportunity. If you work really hard, you bust your ass, you get out there, you do the nine to five, you know, you go to college, or you learn a trade, okay? Because not everyone's for college people, but some people are great with their hands. Uh, you, you know, you really apply yourself. You too can, come on people, this is my front yard. I didn't get this because of a politician or a handout. I got this because I, I built this. I went to the military. I got my GI Bill. I went to college. I am proverbially living the American dream, okay? Honestly, and I'm an immigrant and I'm a half breed, okay? So if I can do this, this is my front yard. It's six acres, okay, of, of olive trees, you know, uh, pear trees, peach trees, okay? You too can achieve this, okay? I talk to you about surviving and stuff because I've been there. At one time, I was homeless, okay? You can do this, folks, okay? Please exercise your rights as an American citizen. Get out there and vote. Make a difference. If you look back in history, English is only, only the recognized language by the original 13 colonies by one vote over German. Over German. So people, please get out there. Do your civic duty. Be an American. Do it for your kids, your grandkids. Do it for Panda, okay? <laughs> All right? All right, folks. Can't stress that enough. Like I said, the media, I think they're, they're projecting on this crowd because they don't want to give up their cushy jobs. They're in the system, uh, just like politicians. If you don't think they're not corrupt, folks, I got a newsflash for you. Yeah, there's corruption in politics. There's corruption in the media. They have their own agenda. They have their own lives. Let's put a stop to this. Get out there and vote, folks, okay? I'm Johnny the Practical Nurse. Don't give up your rights, okay? Get out there and vote. I'll see you next time out here.